Hello, and thank you for watching this video on Kepler's Local Historian plugin. This plugin was released in version 516. Kepler's Local Historian project started with requests from our customers to support the OBC Historical Data Access, or HDA, specification as an interface for KepserVX. To understand why we were getting this request, imagine a remote site, maybe a power substation or a meter out in the field, with a controller and a local PC. On that local PC, you may have KepserVX installed connected to the controller. To historize data locally, you use the local historian to create a local data store. Then, using OPC HDA, you can connect to another application to do historical analysis or trending. Compare this to real-time or OPC DA communication, which does not transfer historical data, only the most recent unbuffered values as they come in from a controller. Instead of real-time data, the OPC HDA Classic Specification standardizes the transfer of archived buffered data records between clients, such as trending software and the server. How is having a local data store and transferring archived data instead of real-time data useful? Our customers described issues they had with missing information in their historians due to communication issues with the remote site. Instead of transferring real-time data, a user does not need to worry about constantly maintaining a high-quality real-time connection. Maintaining this constant link for real-time data can be expensive and inefficient. Customers want high-resolution historical information without the real-time connection, and local operators in the field need a way to easily access the archived records for analysis. It is for these reasons that a local historian with OPC HDA access is helpful. Pose with a request to support OPC HDA and customers' challenge of accessing and gathering historical data, Kepler came up with the solution of the local historian plugin for Kep Server EX. This plugin can gather and archive data from the server, store it local to the server PC, and then serve it to local clients for trending or analysis using OPC HDA. Now let's move on to a local historian demo. Here I have Kep Server EX v516, which I need to use with the local historian plugin. Note that this plugin is not a separate application from Kep Server EX, hence it will be running if the server runtime has started. The plugin does come with a new service called Kep Server EX 516 Historian that you may note in your services list. Like Kepler's other plugins, the local historian collects data from a driver in Kep Server EX. Users will need to license a driver on the server to use the plugin outside of demo mode. For this demonstration, I will use a simulator driver to generate data for historizing. Let's begin by creating a new data store. First, I will specify a location for the data store. This may be a network location or a hardware server. By default, the data store will be saved to the program data folder. When selecting a location, be sure to carefully select something that has enough memory and will persist for a long time, since it is difficult to change the location of the data store later. There is more on this in the help file. Next, users have the option to import previously logged data. This data may have been backed up or archived out of the data store. In rollover settings, I have the option to roll over my archive files by time in days or hours or based on file size. I will create files the size of whichever limit is hit first. Next, retention settings allow me to specify if I would like to eliminate files from my data store after a specified amount of time or if I want to keep them. The summary tells me all the information that I just configured and once I click finish, I can see the data store status. I can see the current settings for persistence, rollover, and retention. I can also see the current free space on disk. Also, the minimum required free space, my licensing limit for using the historian, the collection rate, which would be a non-zero value if I was collecting data now, and how much size on disk my data store is taking up currently. Now let's add some tags for historizing. I will add multiple simulation tags for my project by browsing for tags and selecting all the tags on the simulation examples branch. I can select multiple tags by right clicking and clicking add all underneath selection or I can change to the branch selection view and click the add all beneath the selection box. I specify an update rate and a percent deadband for the items I am adding. Once I've created the data store and added items, I can then click on the item to see the data in the view in the server. Observe the data coming through. This shows the most recent values being logged to my data store. I can change this view to bring up past data as well. Let's say I want to see some data from the past hour or even days ago. I can adjust my view to display the data points. I can stop and start data collection for a single tag or for an entire group. Note that I can't add duplicate tags if I try re-adding an existing tag. 
And that's it. I have defined my data for logging, and the local historian is now pushing data into the data store, which I set up in under a minute. Along with the new plugin, OPC HDA functionality, Kepler has also provided built-in OPC HDA diagnostics. Enable the HDA diagnostics in project properties. If I connect an HDA client and open the diagnostics view, I can see the diagnostics coming through. Let's look in the data store directory to see the output files of my data store. Note there are files with a TSD extension in this directory. These are data output files stored in a proprietary format. These files allow for high speed storage and archiving of historical data. The TSD contains a time range of data as specified by the user in the rollover settings. The TSD files are eligible for removal, deletion, archiving, and import. There is also a name file. This performs indexing from the data store. And an active file. This is the file that data is currently being logged to before a rollover occurs and it becomes a TSD file. These name and active files can't be backed up or deleted since they are being actively used by the plugin. Back in the plugin, I can show the usefulness of the import function by pointing to some TST files that I had archived previously. You will see event log messages appear that tell you that the historian is monitoring the import folder. Once the imported tags are brought into the server, I see a newly imported data folder, and I can view the previously logged data from the plugin or any connected HDA client. The TSD format and import function allows users to easily move files between machines, import and view previously logged data without a hassle. That concludes the demo for the Local Historian plugin. Now let's wrap up with a summary of the features and application of this product. The historical data can be accessed and viewed via any client software that supports OPC HDA. For the specification experts out there, our support of the OPC HDA methods includes the following list. Remember, the plugin uses the classic specification of OPC HDA, which like OPC DA is based on COM or DCOM. Currently, the plugin does not support the OPC UA version of historical access. The plugin has also passed the OPC Foundation's certification test tool for HDA self-compliance and has been tested with numerous third-party HDA clients. It displays raw values from the data store for validation purposes, but does not include visualization, trending, reporting, or analytics. This is done by HDA client software. In summary, the Local Historian plugin is designed to provide operations engineers a flexible, easy to set up, and high-speed solution to historize information on process and equipment within the same local area network. Perhaps an engineer on a plant floor wants to analyze a process in one of the manufacturing cells or a research and development professional in manufacturing wants to gather data in a laboratory for an extended test, like stress testing. Any of these operators can probe the data, trend, and view it in unique ways, and make day-to-day -day decisions about their discrete processes using the local historian. This is helpful for local operators or engineers who want to quickly gather and view archived data without needing to access their corporate historian over a network connection. The local historian plugin is licensed separately from other products and is not included in any of our suites. Two licensing tiers for logging up to 500 tags and up to 10,000 tags are available. Please call Kepler Sales if you are interested. To learn more about the use of the local historian plugin and how it compares to our data logger plugin and SQL logging, read Aaron Simley's blog post, Kepler Product Showdown Data Logger vs. Local Historian Plugin. The Historian is a flexible, easy to use solution for your historical needs. That concludes this video on the Local Historian Plugin. Thank you for your attention and feel free to contact us at training at Kepler.com for more information and tutorials on our products. As always, you can contact us at sales or technical support. If you'd like to keep up to date with the most recent webinars and videos, you can check out our YouTube page or follow our product training on LinkedIn. As always, you can download a free, fully functional product demo at Kepware.com.